vlog a day, 661. <laughs> I was planning on starting this video from coffee because I I just really want some coffee, but you know, might as well start it now because my card's not working for some reason this morning, so I gotta go get cash with the same card. The challenge is that uh, out of the two that I have, I only know one of their pin numbers because the French don't let you choose your own pin number and I never use my business debit card. I don't know what the pin number is for it, so hopefully I can withdraw enough cash to pay for my room and then Go get coffee, hang out here in Galway a little bit longer, and then uh, make for Belfast. Phew, it's just their machine. You get worried sometimes when you're traveling. If your cards don't work, game over. I'm gonna go get some coffee, have something to eat. The coffee is what I'm most excited about. Try a new coffee place. I forgot to do any coffee research before coming here. Didn't ask any of my friends. I actually have friends from the area and I forgot to ask them for any recommendations. So we're just going with Google reviews and hoping that because the Irish aren't pervasively positive, everywhere has got great reviews around here. So I'm not sure what to trust. Because everyone's so nice, which is not a bad thing, but it is a thing. I know, I know I'm not getting a lot of car footage in this, but I, it's, it's not easy to drive stick and vlog on the wrong side of the road all the time. Ah. Trying to figure out how to get this machine to work. The keypad for the, uh, the, the card reader doesn't seem to be working. I don't have exact change and uh, I could download the app, but let's try, there's one more machine over here and then I'm probably gonna have to download the app. I don't think, last thing I wanna do is get my rental car booted while I'm here. That would not be a good way to go. And this one doesn't even take cards. <laughs> I don't have change. Okay, I'll, yeah, I guess I gotta download the app. I had four euros on me. One of the guys over here gave me 240. He was like, ah, oh, I can get you most of the way there. And then another guy gave me a nine. Everybody's so nice here. Thank you, wonderful strangers, if you ever see this, for pitching in for a third of my parking fee. You were amazing. I need coffee. I'm, I can barely even string a sentence together right now. And like that, I'm legal. Let's get out of here. What? Ugh, this backpack is heavy when you pack your whole life in it. We were gonna go to the Urban Cafe, but I'm not sure I'm gonna make it that far. We'll see, I haven't heard from Kylie. Uh... These guys are getting out of town now. Great tragedy of the day. <laughs> so, have a safe trip back. I'll see you back in Paris. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep drinking coffee and have a beer. I think. <laughs> That was delicious. Sad to see them go. They're leaving a little bit early because they're gonna go do some fun stuff, drive around the country a little bit more. I'm going to drive back to Belfast so I don't have to like leave at three in the morning tomorrow. My flight's first thing tomorrow. So I think what I'm gonna do, my buddy Alan, who's from here, gave me a suggestion where to grab a pint, get a little bit of work done and uh, have some food and then I think I'll head to Belfast, spend the night there and then head to Amsterdam been crazy. If you've never been to Galway, it's really nice. Like the area, there's a, a whole walking district over here filled with pubs, music. There are three pubs that do live music every night. And the place we went to last night, it's called The Crane. It was so nice. It was so amazing. The people there were really friendly. The music was really, really cool. It's all traditional music and they play 364 days out of the year. There's live music there every day except for Christmas Eve. And then the bartender <laughs> made an off comment behind the bar where he's like, it used to be 363 and then they took Good Friday from us. So if you're in Galway, highly recommend the crane. It was really nice. In the meantime, I need to find stamps for the postcards for my family and then uh, pint, food. It's time to get out. My other goal 
or mission is to find some stickers for Prushan while I'm here. He needs flags. Oh, perfect. Flag stickers. And uh, they were set. <laughs> Not sure which one he'll prefer. I think he'll want the seal more than the flag, but uh, can't hurt to get both just to be safe. Successful mission. All right, now to go get pint food and then Belfast. There's live music like every five feet in this city. It's really hard to stop exploring. We did cross over the canals a couple times last night. I've seen a little bit more of the city than is in the vlog, unfortunately, but um, okay, we'll just have to come back. I'd love to come back and maybe we'll bring Mark with us. Cause he's actually from this area and uh, I didn't consult him at all on my way here. So I definitely got to take him up on a, a good Mark tour on the way back. So here's another guy. Everywhere, Johnny Cash too. Yeah. All right, since I need food as well, Alan's suggesting I go to Ann Pukin. And I'm not saying that correctly, and I'm so sorry. Ann Pukin, Ann, Ann Pukin, it's not correct. Let's just find it and find food. This backpack is so heavy, I just want to put it down and sit for a while and eat. Pukan, I just asked. Not that hard. Anyways, food should be here just about. They had a pint and a burger for 10 euros special, which was really hard to say no to. I'll finish recovering here and then four hour drive. <laughs> Thought I'd move out to the beer garden, work a little bit on my laptop, just enjoy the weather, and then uh, pop on to Belfast. Oh, selfie cam. I don't even know how to use this thing. Anyways, I just got done lunch, worked for a while. I had to respond to like over 250 comments. Just insanity. I'm also looking at the wrong area because this is a selfie cam and I don't know where I'm supposed to look. Ah, confusing. I gotta get back in my car and uh, start driving towards Belfast should be exciting, which means there's gonna be a massive gap in time here because I won't be filming while I drive because I'm, you know, safe driver most of the time. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank they were really friendly. The staff was really nice there. This has been amazing. I've really enjoyed being in Galway and I really wanna come back and uh, see more of the city, get more music in. I definitely have to come back at some point and just spend more time here. This is not nearly enough. Whirlwind, last minute trip, gotta love it. Anyways, jumping in the car and we'll go from here. And sorry for the selfie cam situation here is driving me nuts. Weird looking. I don't I don't like this. All right, now that I fixed this, I remember why I had the selfie cam on. It was because I'm wearing the heart face shirt under here. I was taking a picture of that from the Galway sign. It's kind of fun. I don't know. I enjoyed it. Anyways, uh, you know, road time. advice from the friendly neighborhood police officer. Bro, I'm guessing he's like got a broader reach than the neighborhood if he's on the freeway. But uh, you just pull up and pump at these things. They, they don't, you don't have to pay ahead of time. You don't have to push a button, go talk to anybody. You just pull the nozzle out and start fueling. It's great. It's such a lovely trusting bunch around here. Anyways, I'm falling asleep on the road a little bit, so I wanted to stretch my legs. Fuel is definitely down to the last quarter, so I thought probably a wise idea to fill up. I've got another two hours ahead of me, which is brutal. I'm gonna get a snack, because I'm hungry. Go to the restroom because I need to do that. And uh, 35, 36 liters. It's a lot more liters than I put in last time. I didn't put in enough last time. I made it. I survived. Had a couple of issues. 
Google tried to send me to the ocean a couple of times. Oh, I also, the whole, the drone footage that I took of the bridge in particular, I had to walk through a really sketchy uh, set of houses with dudes that didn't speak English, like rummaging through old cars for parts. They're nice enough, but uh, you know, mildly sketch city. Anyways, my Airbnb hostess gave me directions to get to this street, to try and find food. I don't know what we're gonna find. I'm just trying to find some food. I'll go back, I'll show you the Airbnb, edit, and it's bedtime. So uh, yeah. We'll just, assuming I actually find food, because nothing looks open, we'll just fast forward a little bit. This is the one she said I had to go to, but will it be open? The pub's kitchen was closed, so uh, it's either Chinese or pizza. For some reason, while I'm here, I think Chinese is the better choice, but do I go with this one or the one down the street? I kind of feel like the one down the street. I got takeaway in Natasha's honor because it's the number one thing she misses about living in the UK. Takeaway. I might just go to bed and edit in the morning. I am captain exhausted and barely stayed awake that whole ride here. So, uh, so much energy the food gives me, but the vlog is probably going to be late. Sorry about that. Oh man, I'm ready to go to bed. 